Hello, welcome back to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda Kumar. In this video, I'm going to show how to install or reimage Firepower 2100 from FTD to ASA. As you all know, Firepower 2100 series support both FTD and ASA. Uh, you could uh, reimage the box from either ASA to FTD or FTD to ASA, depending upon your requirement. In the other video, I showed uh, showed you how to reimage a box from ASA to FTD. So in this video, we are going to look at how to reimage the box from FTD to ASA, which is exact, uh, which is almost exactly same as the uh, from ASA to FTD, except the few uh, few commands which we will look in uh, this video. So this is a difference when you have a Firepower 2100 series platform with FTD running. You will not be able to change the IP address on the FXOS uh, for the management interface. If you want to change the IP address uh, for the management interface, you have to go to FTD, change the IP address, save the configuration on the FTD and then come back to the FXOS prompt and then continue the rest of the process of downloading the image to the uh, FXOS and then installing. Unlike, unlike uh, when you have uh, Firepower 2100 with ASA where you, you are allowed to change the IP address of the management from FXOS uh, prompt. So here uh, you can see that um, the first four lines it shows that uh, though you can go to the FXOS prompt and then go to the fabric interconnect and then set the IP address the moment you uh, give the command to say commit buffer to apply the changes the system is going to give you an error saying that uh, changes are not allowed and then you have to execute the this changing of management interface IP address from uh, FTD so in, in order to that um, in order to change the IP address for the management interface um, we have to go to the F, uh, FTD prompt using command connect FTD uh, which will take you to the FTD prompt and then once you log into the FTD you can change the IP address for the management uh, with the command configure network IP address manual what are the command here that you see and then save the configuration with the right hand then come back to the FXOS um, you could do that either exit or connect um, FXOS now once you come back to the uh, FXOS prompt, um, you could check the connectivity to your uh, file server, be it FTP or TFTP, uh, using the ping command. Once the ping is uh, successful, uh, next is um, you go to the scope firmware and then from there you execute this download image uh, CLI and then download the image to the FXOS. Um, as we said in the previous image, uh, previous video, uh, we had various uh, file transfer method right from uh, FTP, SFTP, TFTP, uh, SCP and then uh, through local USB. And you can see the progress of download using the show download task detail. Uh, you can check that uh, how the download uh, progress and then once the download is completed, uh, the next one is to in do the installation. Uh, the installation can be done. Um, through scope auto install and then followed by the uh, command install system uh, security pack version followed by the uh, ASA version number in this case it is going to be uh, I'm going to try out with 982 uh, version uh, let's go and do a um, installation on the box and then uh, see how it goes or the what are the passwords that you have set for FXOS So as I said, I cannot change the IP address from FXOS uh, for the management interface. I'm going to log into the FTD to change the IP address. So to log to the FTD, the command is connect FTD. So from here, I can configure the management interface IP address. Configure IP, configure network IPv4. 
manual so now that we have configured I'm going to just write the uh, do the write which is going to save the configuration move back to FX was by using command exit uh, uh, let me go go to lo, um, local management and then check if the IP is configured so you could see that management interface has this IP address here um, so we are all good now I need to check if uh, I'm able to reach my um, FTP server I'm able to reach uh, oh, sorry I'm able to reach the FTP so I have to go to scope firmware and then from there I have to download the image download the image so hopefully it should start the download image I am uh, let's check the progress of the download image using show download task so it is downloading other rate of file transfer rate let's give a minute uh, for it to download <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, uh, there is a difference uh, between management IP address uh, that is available when you run between AC or FTD. When you run EAC on Firepower 2100, the FXOS management interface IP address is different from management IP address that is running on uh, EAC management interface. Though they use the same physical interface, uh, you you have to have a different IP address to access the FXOS and then different IP address for the FTD management interface sorry uh, ASA management interface whereas in the same Firepower 2100 series platform if you run uh, FTD then uh, both FTD and FXOS uh, shares the same management IP address for both FXOS and FTD that's one of the difference between um, 2100 running uh, AC and FTD so that the status says that it is downloaded um, let's uh, do show package uh, the show package is going to show you all the list of images that are there in the box and then respective package and I'm going to copy this package number for AC, um, AC which is 98.2 go to scope in uh, auto install scope and then from there we can install using the command install security pack version and then followed by the version number uh, which you want installed that is AC so it's going to prompt you some information that this platform currently has a platform version of that is FXOS uh, 2.2.2 and then it Trans FTD 622 and then it says that okay, if you say eggs um, uh, if you continue then it is going to um, install this box with um, with EAC uh, sorry um, AC 9982 uh, let's say yes and gives you one more warning for auto install it so uh, it's going to take some time um, to install AC you can check the progress uh, by show detail once the installation I mean, no, once the installation completes the box reloads and then come back to FXOS and then to AC prompt from where you can uh, log into the AC prompt and then do all the rest of the configuration on AC with this uh, we have come to the end of this video I hope you like it um, we will have more videos on uh, Firepower 2100 series platform as well as on Firepower Threat Defense. See you soon. Bye bye.